Hi guys, this is Julian, and in this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not it is useful to study the yellow paper of Ethereum when you want to learn Ethereum programming. So, there are two important documents that describe how Ethereum works in general. The first one is the white paper of Vitalik Buterin, the creator of Ethereum. And the second one is the yellow paper that was authored by uh, Gavin uh, Wood, if I'm not mistaken, which is the co-creator of, uh, of Ethereum. So there is a lot of uh, misunderstanding about these two documents. So the first one, the white paper of Vitalik, so it's actually just a high level description of how Ethereum is going to work. Uh, this was written at the very beginning of Ethereum, uh, I think it was written in, uh, in 2014. So in the, in the meantime, a lot of things have changed. So if you read it, you'll find that uh, some of the description are already uh, outdated. But what I like about it is it's quite high level. Uh, it's not too long. It's uh, easy to understand. So it's like maybe five or six pages. So it's quite easy to read it and to uh, understand it uh, as uh, when you have your first glance of, uh, at Ethereum. Uh, this is quite different from other white paper like the Bitcoin white paper. Uh, the Bitcoin white paper is very technical with a lot of uh, scary uh, mathematical notation. Uh, the white paper of Ethereum is not like this, it's very easy to understand. So it's really good to uh, really get started. And the other one, the yellow paper, um, that one is actually very technical. Uh, it's a long document, it's like maybe uh, 60 pages and it's full of, of a very scary uh, mass notation. Um, and so it really describes how Ethereum works uh, in detail. Uh, so it really talks about the implementation. Um, but what I really don't like about it is that it uses this mathematical language to do all this description. And to me, it really adds an unnecessary uh, complexity um, so if you're just getting into Ethereum, I don't think it's a real, really good idea to spend too much time on the, on the yellow paper. Uh, where the yellow paper might be interesting is if you have a very specific question, for example, about a uh, opcode, so the, the elementary operation that run uh, inside the Ethereum virtual machine. So you have some appendix that uh, describe all the opcode uh, and the gas cost, for example. So it can be useful for, for things like this. But otherwise, unless you're a researcher, I would not recommend to, uh, to check out the, to spend too much time on the uh, yellow paper. Just read the white paper and, uh, and Google all the stuff about Ethereum and it's gonna be better than, uh, than, that, than the yellow paper. So that's it for this comparison between uh, white paper and uh, yellow paper. And by the way, if you wanna become a blockchain developer and learn all the secrets for how you can get your first remote job and also hear about my own story of how I got my first remote job, uh, remote blockchain job, paid 100K a year, then I've prepared a short email course where I give you all my secrets. And you can find this in the description. You just follow the link, this is free, and I'm gonna give you all my secrets. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for another one. Bye.